What's up everybody? On this video, you already know what we're going to be getting into. We're going to be putting in, installing the two-speed transmission from Traxxas for the TRX4M. Now, start taking off your accessories if you're putting in this into an already modified vehicle like mine. Unclip your body. Watch out for your lights if you have the extended light kit. We already have a couple of upgrades in here, which is going to be the Endura um, motor, the 180 motor from Endura. Traxxas ECM that we're still running, but it's all wired up very nice and neat on the opposite side. I actually put in some loom. So everything is running through this already. So what do I want to do is just drop the transmission in, take this motor out of this transmission and put it into the two speed. So that's what we're going to do. And I so let's take inventory of what comes in the kit. You got the motor and the transmission already in an assembly. We're gonna have two screws and, a, and a, another mounting bracket, a transmission mounting bracket. We have a couple of directions. We're gonna see if those are worth anything. And then you have this piece right here, which is basically a replacement gear. If you get the portal axles that are that include these two gears, these two blue gears are what the portal axles include. So you need this one for that. But a 1.5 mil is probably the only thing that we're gonna need because I don't want to take the wires apart so these two screws right here one two and then three for the battery cage i'm going to take off you should have the same exact setup one two right here on the transmission and then three on the battery cage all right so we're going to take off all of them on either side and we're going to start with this side i guess first so that way you guys can see what we got going on so let's remove all the screws it's going to be a counterclockwise direction all right and then i'm going to take these battery these battery screws off and i'm dropping them in the parts bin that's what this is back here this tray back here which a parts bin could be anything that you have this is actually a soap dish so Let's keep it moving. We got those out. So we're going to rotate this so you guys can see what we're doing. And we're going to take out one, two, and then three on the battery cage. So let's go with the battery cage first. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. Remove that one. Now, if you notice, the battery cage was upgraded. So it had those silver screws in it. And then we're going to have these. I got to cut my nails. We're going to have these little... Uh, spacers as well so keep an eye out for them they sit right there on the top can we see it on the overhead so right there where the screws are is where the spacers sit that one's not bright enough we're gonna bring in we're gonna bring in the back of light so right there where my finger is pointing just grab it It looks like that one already took a ride and fell or something. Or is it with the... Let's see in the parts bin. We got one. So I believe it fell somewhere already. Oh, I found it. It's right there in between the transmission. So we're going to flip that over. It's going to fall out. Fell out. Right there. So that's what you want to look for. You want to make sure you don't lose these pieces because we need to put them back. They actually keep the battery tray elevated for this particular um, battery tray. If you didn't install them when you put the battery tray in, don't worry about them. They're not going to go crazy missing them or anything. So let's get this back up light back here. So we're going to remove the last two screws on the transmission. One, two. So just lift the transmission slowly and slide it out of the drive shafts. As you can see, it comes out easily. Then we're going to have the four screws exposed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the drive shaft off real quick. So let's switch to the overhead so we can show that. So if you can see, this is the screw for the drive shaft. We're gonna remove that real quick. 
Yeah. If you go ahead and throw that in the parts bin, I'll show you which screw it is when we're done. We can flip this around and rotate. We're going to take that back screw out as well. I know I'm all the way up at the top of the video, but right there, we're going to take that screw out. Remove that. All right, so now we're going to take off the four bolts. One, two, three, four on the transmission. These screws will keep it handy because normally you wouldn't have to do this step if you weren't doing a motor swap right now. I've ran the regular stock motor in this truck for a while now, so I know how it, it, it reacts. I just recently put this motor in. I like the way it's been reacting, so I want to transfer it over. Oh, nice. I'm happy I didn't put the metal gears in. <laughs> Sweet. So we're going to set that aside. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and grab a real screwdriver, 1.5 mil, and I'm going to loosen up the screw, the motor bolts, which is going to be two on either side. They're silver on this truck. They're silver on this motor because they're from Endura. So I have these two, one, two. So that one was pretty good. It just wasn't coming out of the housing. So we're going to sit the motor down. We're going to try to recover this bolt that doesn't want to come out. So we're going to turn this over and just push from the back end through and the screw fell out. So we're good to go. All right. So at this point, we're just going to leave this open and set it to the side right now. Because what I'm going to do is the motor that I'm going to remove from the two-step, from the two-speed transmission, I'm going to put inside that transmission so I have a transmission that's good to go, ready ready, and everything. I wonder if these are the, the low-range gears. Those are really dark gears. I think those are the low-range gears. I'm not sure. All right, so let's open this puppy up. We have a series of... We have one, two on the bottom here, three, four in the middle, and then five. All right, so thank God we have this uh, power drill. So we're gonna do the two on the bottom. So I'm keeping the screws separated. I have the the Traxxas mat has these little grooves in there. So on this side, I'm actually keeping the screws. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're right here in this pocket. So I'm keeping the two-step transmission screws over there. And then the other transmission screws are right here with the motor mount and all that other stuff. All right. So I got the bottle caps right here. I'm going to put these screws in this bottle cap and then all these screws, but you can set the bottle cap inside your parts bin and they'll be separated. The two silver screws are with the old transmission. The new transmission are the screws that are on their, on, the, on their own and everything. So we got all those screws out. We're good to go. We're going to separate this now. So real slow, we're just going to lift the cap off. We're going to push down on this piece right here. Which is going to be one of the drive shafts uh, connecting pieces. Give it a little wiggle. There's a there's a gear trying to go out with everything. This pin wound up staying with that side, so I want to take it off. I'm going to drop it back in where it goes on this side, right there. So that way everything looks good. So now, unfortunately, I have to take all these gears out so that way i could get that motor out there on the side so what i'm going to do is and i recommend you do this too when you're messing with this stuff we're going to grab my cell phone 
We'll go to photos. And then we're just going to take a, a photo of the gears in different angles. So that way we can see the orientation on which way the gears are. The more photos, the better, but you only need probably about five. So we got a couple of photos. We're doing good. Or you could just use the owner's manual, but if you lose it or don't want to use it, it's up to you. So now we're going to remove the gears. And we're just going to set them aside. I don't have to take any more gears out. So we're just going to leave the rest of them in. I just want that motor out. So we're going to go ahead and counterclockwise and get this motor out of place with these two screws right here. There's one. So now we're going to take this motor. We're going to line it up in the place. Make sure that the logo looks good and it's visible. All right, and then that looks pretty much lined up. We're good to go there. We're gonna grab those. We're gonna grab the whole um, cap with the silver screws and pull the silver screws out. And then I'm gonna put the cap back over there in the corner. So now I got the silver screws. I'm gonna get one loaded up to the screwdriver. Or the Allen key driver, the Allen driver. And we're gonna get that into place. Looks like it started going. So I got about like two to three turns in there. And then I'm gonna grab the other one and do the same to the opposite side. Now it feels like I got a good connection. Then we're just gonna get them snug in place there we go so this gear was in this top part over here so we're going to take this gear and we're going to drop this into place i want to get a bearing set for this there's no grease in this thing so these other two gears i forgot where they go uh i'm getting my photos out so it's basically this gear right here that connects with the motor. So as you can see, that gear connects with the motor. The longer part of the plastic is facing out, as we can see right there in the image. So we're gonna put that bad boy in right here. That's where that one goes, boom. And then the second gear, which is gonna be this chunky one, goes right there as we can see it right there wow this thing is nice and clear right there All right so this one goes in right here that's all nice and lined up and now we get this piece and if i'm not mistaken that square piece faces out so it's going to be just like this we're going to look at the images and I think I'm wrong. Oh no, hold on. This piece, yep, it goes like that. It slides, so it fits inside the gear. Let me show you guys what that was right there. So you see how it slides out? It's flat on two sides and round on two sides. So it'll only fit in a certain way, okay? So this longer part of the, of the plastic is gonna go in first. So that's the way the gear sits and we're good to go. All right, like I said, they do, you know, the manual is there, the owner's manual, it probably can help you out and everything. I wonder if I should drop some grease in here right now. I'm gonna run the truck a little bit See how it does without grease, and then if I need grease, I'll put grease, but it did not come with grease, so we're going to run it the way it is. So now I'm grabbing the bottle cap that was on the right-hand side, which is supposed to be all the screws for this transmission. We're going to line these up right here. 
like so. And then we're gonna just start screwdrivering them down. Or driving them down, which is gonna be clockwise. We gotta turn this. The motor's normally up on the top, just like this. So that's where the wires we're comfortable with. Now it's gonna be over on the passenger side a lot. So we gotta gonna have to get comfortable with that. But before we go to do that, we're gonna put the drive shafts back in. So let's get that done. The first drive shaft. Actually, I think. Yeah, just like I thought. The drive shafts are about the same height. So now they have a D uh, cutout, and they'll only fit on one way. So you're going to fit those in. You're going to look for the two screws that look like they're coarse, which are going to be these two, and they're skinnier than the other screws. All right, so you need these two coarse screws. To put into the drive shafts. I'm gonna put the parts bin back over there. And we're gonna line this up right now with this uh, thing here. So we got this axle in, ready to go. It's nice and snug. The axle, like I said, it's gonna go in only one way. So we got that one in, nice and snug. I do want to upgrade these axles. I have axles for this, but I just thought of it right now, so I'm not doing it right now. I'll do it later or, you know, on a live stream when I'm messing around with this thing later and whatnot. Alrighty. So those are good to go. Now what I want to do is I just want to see if I can get the transmission to sit flat, which it seems like I'm getting interference from some of the electronics. Let me see if I can get some more. Um, I think that's about it with the, there we go. I got a little bit more with the motor, but a little bit more leeway. But I also forgot that we need this bracket, so let's cut this open and see where, where it goes and what we do with it. So, I'm going to cut this open. I hope we didn't have to... Yeah, well, if we have to, we'll figure it out. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at the manual and see if it says how to put this bracket on. So it looks like the bracket screws down into place. Which is going to be in the front or the back of the... It's kind of difficult to understand. Let's go to the overhead so I can show you guys what we're trying to decipher here. So it looks like the bracket goes into the front of the transmission. So it goes this way and it goes down, down into the front. All right. So supposedly it goes down here like that, followed up with these two screws that we have right here. And the wiring is supposed to go around. So I'm gonna put one screw right here. Give me one second, I'll show you guys. One screw right there and the other screw on the other side. Is it better for this camera? Yeah, you guys can see what's going on. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we got that thing in place. The reason why I knew where it went is because the battery cage is still in on the diagram. So we're going to have to set... Well, we don't have to, but I want to set the... Um, 
I want to set the axles to be in phase. So I'm going to turn this and angle the two screws facing down, as you can see right there. All right. So when I drop the transmission in through the front, I'm going to pick the truck up. I'm going to spin it around and I'm going to try to get that screw to face me so that way I could get the screw that's facing up already on the axle so that way it's in phase I know it's it's a little bit easier said than done we need a little bit of light in here to see. So if it would show you that the screw down there in that hole is lined up with the screw on the outside. So we are in phase in the front. We're going to try to do the same thing with the rear. Which is basically just spinning this to the front. We're gonna dismount the transmission and we got it in place and I believe we are good to go with the, the alignment. So we're gonna put it back down and then we're gonna look to see why the transmission is not sitting properly. I got one of the wrong screws so let me show you guys what's going on right now. So right there, I hope you guys can see that screw. It's too long. So the screws are, in fact, longer screws in certain places. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak in, remove that screw. I hope you guys can see it. It's this screw right here. It won't let the, the transmission sit down. So we're going to try to sneak in through here. And remove that screw. I'm going to get an extension real quick. Give me one second. All right. So what I'm using is a simple extension that works with uh, with any. Come on. With any of these bits, they just lock in and then the hex is on the opposite side. So we're going to connect that all up with the screwdriver. So that way I can go through the back of the truck all the way over and I just turned off a light to get to that screw in the front so right there I got that screw I'm going to pull it out so now I got to figure out where the bigger screw is or the smaller screw is that goes there and switch it out without losing all position on the the axles and whatnot. It looks like I still don't want to lay down right, so maybe there's one on the opposite side. Nope. That looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So where is it? It's just those two. I believe it might be this screw right here. That's too long. Or too short. Not that one, this one. So this one, I think, goes on the bottom over there. We'll find out when I get it out. Nope, that's the same size screw. We're going to take out the screws until we find the small one. Nope, that looks like the same size screw. Well, this is going to be the worst installation video that there ever was. That looks like 
all the same size screw. Tell me there's just one screw that was smaller. There's one screw that is smaller, which was right here on this side. So now, I'm going to rotate this over. I'm going to put this in right here. I got that screw in as much as I could. The rest of the screws are sitting here. They're the same length. So one screw is going to be smaller. It needs to go on that side where the motor is on the bottom of the bracket. Unreal. So let's get the rest of these screws in here. I noticed the screw was smaller, but I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, eh, it's probably just my head, you know? Nope. There's always a reason. And now we know the reason. We get the extension on. So this video became longer than it needed to be because I messed up with the screws. So I'm putting that screw. It's the long screw in on this side and it fits perfectly. Now everything's fitting down. The transmission is sitting on the transmission mounts. This is the new mount. I'm gonna rotate this over and then it's sitting really good on the transmission mounts right there and there. Right? So now, the transmission mounts are with this battery cage. So we're going to take the battery cage and move it out of the way. All right. And I'm going to grab these four bolts. One, two, three, four. Where they're the black bolts that are in here. And then this one right here. These battery bolts, I'm going to grab them right now, but I'm not putting them in until the last of it and then the two spacers as well give me that where's the two spacers there it goes all right let's get this back up on the little foam pad okay let's get rid of the extension so now we're gonna put in the screws the overhead was better right now so we're gonna put one screw here one down there actually one right here so let's go ahead and do that let's get that screw into place which is right here So we got that screw there. We're gonna rotate the truck over. And then you can see these two screw points right here. So I'm gonna put one right here. So right there, you guys can see that. That one's in. Now we got the one that has to go right here. that one in place all right now we're going to rotate it back and then we have the last placement which is right right there it's going to be this last screw oh, the screw popped off of the screwdriver so you guys can see where we are So now, I want my two spacers in place right here on top of this thing. One. And then this is going to be the two. All 
right? So you can see where I placed the two spacers. Now I'm going to take the battery, uh, the battery, oh my God. The battery cage, put the two screws in it, and then I'm going to try to drop this down into place through those brackets, uh, through the spacers, which should give me That one definitely didn't go. We're going to go for the back one. Let's see. Nope. So both screws got messed up. They lifted. They moved. It's hard to get all this crap on video. So now I have the two spacers roaming free. Both of them just fell out. So we're going to try this once again. Let's try it with the overhead this time. So I face it this way, got these two right here, try to drop it right into the, to the mounting point, and then get it with the screwdriver. None of that's on camera except for the back of my head probably, but those two spacers are in there. That was the most important thing for me. Hopefully you guys understand that those two spacers need to be in there. So I recommend that you get them in there. All right. So I'm able to shift gears with no problem. Right here. Let's crank this up. We're shifting gears with no problem right here. I do not know what gear I'm in. The motor's already um, connected. So all we need right now is a battery and a... All right, so we got the battery and the controller. Let's put this all into the truck and see what it does. So I'm going to put my controller in. I mean, my battery. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get back over it. I got the wifey helping me record. Thank God. So I can just concentrate on the driving. Again, this is the Defender with the two-step gear. Transmission in it. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. My big bumper. Oh, I got out. I got out. I'm out. I'm free. Nice. Down the road I go. Somebody push me into sick to low gear, fast gear, so I can go faster. I'm out. I'm out. But any which way, it's dope. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. My name is Hugo with Urban Crawlers. Hit the thumbs up, like button if you, if it helped you out. <laughs> Later.